How's she going right there, eh? It's Denise here from Denise Loves You Outdoors. Got an update for you on the rabbits. How well you guys see this? But this one had. She ended up having seven, but she lost one. Right now, how many is in here? I think there's six. I don't want to play around too much. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, six of them. They're hopping around there. I'm going to cover them up. Anyhow, today is March 28th. Today's March 28th. Um, they weren't born yesterday, they were born the day before. Um, I think it was midday or so because I checked um, about 5 o'clock in the morning on my way into work and she didn't have any. And uh, the other white doe, she actually had two that morning or through the night and she lost both of them. They were both try to revive them. Um, couldn't get them to come around. So later on that same day, this one here had seven and uh, someone checked for me and one was laying down um, on the bottom of the cage here over the hutch. So she must have been in nursing and then it latched on and it didn't get caught on the board and it was outside most of the day. So when I got home from work, it was uh, too late. Anyhow, that's the deal with this one. Um, she seems to be doing all right. The little ones seem to be doing okay. They're jumping around, popping around there. So she seems to be going in and feeding them. I don't want to leave the door open too long here. It's actually a nice day, so it's probably going to be okay. Anyhow, I'll uh, pause this, close this, and I'll uh, check on the other ones possibly here hold on yeah this is the other one um, that I suspect is not pregnant obviously so uh, I'll give it a few days here and uh, I'll try her one more time and if it's, she doesn't take this time um, I'll be looking to replace her Anyhow, the other one that, that I'm going to show you, the one that lost the two babies, uh, this is the second time she's lost two. She's had two and lost them both each time. Anyhow, I'll uh, turn you back on here in a sec. Yeah, this is the one that I was saying that lost the two a couple of days ago, and she lost two one other time. So I don't know if it's temperature related or if it's just... Her, I don't, I'm not sure, you know, I feel bad. This one actually is a real nice, gentle one. She likes to be coddled. Anyhow, yeah, or I don't know if it has to do with the nesting box, if anybody knows. Uh, like I said, that's just something that I kind of slapped together. Maybe it's hard for her to get in and out. She, she goes in there, no problem. Anyhow. Um, or this hutch is a lot bigger than the other two, so maybe it's too um, cold in here. I'm not sure. I don't know what. Anyhow, I'll I'll try her also again and see if uh, you know get a better success rate with her next time. Yeah, that's it for now. I'm gonna I'll check the buck out, see how he's doing. Here's the buck. Anyhow, like I said, in a couple of days or so I'll rebreed those other two. You know, hopefully uh, hopefully we get a better success rate with those two. Anyhow, he seems to be liking it there. He's always chilling. 
Um, I suppose I could open this other door, especially it's warmed up now. I had this other door closed up when we had some bad weather there a few days ago. But uh, usually, uh, even all through the winter, he would just sit right here in this corner in the open, both windows, and sit there all winter, no problem. Wouldn't matter if it was snowing or raining out. You know, like I said, I'll bring the other two over. And I was hoping that the other brown female, which I'm assuming is the same age as this brown buck, would, uh, you know, take and they'd have some little ones. <coughs> Anyhow, uh, but it didn't, so. Anyhow, uh, like I said, that's it for now. Um, just thought I'd uh, update everybody on the, the babies. A little disappointing that that one um, lost two. And, uh, you know, and we missed out on the other one that fell off during feeding. I suspect, success, uh, suspect that's what happened, but it's hard to say. You know, like I said, I'm new at this. Um, after I do it for a little bit, I might get a little more experience and figure out what's going on. But you now he's just running around in circles here. Thinking uh, that I'm going to bring a friend in for him. And how, like I said, that the brown older female, if she, I don't know, obviously it's been over 30 days or so, 31, 32 days, so. I'll uh, double check my numbers, but I think in a day or so I will uh, bring her in here and uh, leave her in here with him for a little bit. And then the one that just lost the two, I guess uh, I'll look it up, but I think I'll wait a couple weeks and then try her again. Anyhow, that's the plan. Anyhow, thanks a lot. Um, that's it for now. Thanks for watching there, eh? That's the end.